subscribe my channel p sarala hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time i post a new lesson welcome to another class today we are going to learn about sex determination in animals so sex determination is animals uh, can be explained uh, under three categories so, so first one is the chromosomal theory of sex determination second one is genetic balance theory and the third one is haplodiploidy so today we are going to learn about genetic balance theory so this theory genetic balance theory is proposed by kelvin bridges so he is a kelvin bridges uh, when he is working on the non disjunction of uh, chromosomes especially x chromosomes uh, in drosophila melanogaster so this is the drosophila melanogaster which is also commonly known as fruit fly so while he is studying the non disjunction of x chromosomes uh, he find out number of uh, varieties of uh, ova so when we come to the karyotype of uh, melanogaster drosophila melanogaster it consists of uh, eight chromosomes that means four pairs of chromosomes are present among which three pairs are autosomes and one pair is sex chromosomes the sex chromosomes in females are xx and in males are xy chromosomes this seems to be very like to the human beings but here in drosophila melanogaster the y chromosome doesn't play any role in maleness of the drosophila here the sex is determined by the balance between the genes for femaleness located on the x chromosome and for maleness located on the autosomes so here the sex is determined by the ratio of x chromosomes and the sets of autosomes so this is known as a sex index so the sex ratio is expressed as sex index in a formula that is sex index equal to number of x chromosomes divided by number of sets of autosomes simply sex index equal to x divided by a so the value for x chromosome is equal to 1 and the value for one set of autosomes is equal to 1 by substituting these values in the formula x by a will we will get the values like this 0.5 less than 0.5 1 and greater than 1 so these values determine the male and female sex in the drosophila so when we compare the sex index of uh, x and y if it comes as 0.5 then the sex of the individual is a male sex if the index value is less than 0.5 then so the sex is a super males or meta males so these super males or meta males are sterile so they, de uh, they don't reproduce reproduce so if the sex index value is equal to 1 then the sex of the individual is a female so it is a fertile one if the sex index is greater than 1 that is greater than 1 1.5 up to 1.5 the sex of the individual is a meta female or gynandromorph gynandromorph means it contains the characters of both male and female so it is also a sterile one if the sex ratio of x by a equal to in between if the ratio is in between 0.5 and 1 then the sex is intersex intersex is also a sterile one so by noticing all these we can come to the conclusion that y chromosome is not essential for the male maleness because the y chromosome lacks the male determining factor which is encoded by the sry gene 
which is present in the Y chromosome. So, this gene is absent in Y chromosome of Drosophila melanogaster. SRY, SRY means sex determining region of a Y chromosome. But the Y chromosome is necessary because it is required for the male fertility. So, the individuals without Y chromosome can produce sperms, but the motility of the sperms lacks in the sperms which lack Y chromosome. So, Y chromosome is necessary for the motility of the sperms, not for the maleness of the fruit fly. Okay? So, this you have to remember. So, from this we can co come to the conclusion that female determ determiners are located on the X chromosome and male determiners are located on the autosomes. This is the genic balance theory of sex determination in Drosophila. I hope you understand.